god! Ah, oh, no way. Ah, oh, this sucks. Yeah. Ow! Oh, come on! As you're having fun. Uh. Oh, by the way, what's up with all the flying banana things? I have no idea. Oh, God. I'm... I'm not in France! No. No, you're not. Oh, oh God, I'm so sorry. I, I, I think when I landed on you, I messed up your head. This is my head's normal shape. It's a birth defect. My mother would shoot up methamphetamines while she was pregnant with me. I don't speak much with my mother. She never remembered my birthday. She never remembered anything. Um, okay. Well, uh, hi. My name is Edward. My name is Max. The only woman I ever loved suffocated on a popsicle stick. Now every time I hear the bells of an ice cream truck, I cry. Oh, about the music and stuff. I installed a sound and light show system into my head to play happy songs and beam colorful lights when I talk about my miserable life so it doesn't seem quite so depressing. Right. So, Max... What brings you to the forest? Camping? Hiking? Getting some, uh, fresh air? I've been banished from all civilization. If I show my face back home, I'll be arrested. Arrested? Hmm. Um, what for? Malicious psychological abuse against a group of small children. Um... You see, I'm a child psychologist, and apparently my methods are viewed by some as inappropriate. Okay, Timmy, we're gonna do a little test. Tell me, what does this look like to you? A butterfly? Well, I guess it all kind of goes back to me hating my own childhood. I always wanted to have a bike like all the other kids, but father was always too drunk to keep a job, and while there was always enough money for his invaluable supply of booze, there was never enough for a child's happiness. Look, um, I should probably be hurrying along. I have to continue in my quest to destroy all spoons. Well, there was this scientist guy named Drake. He's a few miles back, and he built a machine that he says can end the spatula spoon war. A device that will end the spatula spoon war? Well, can you take me to him? Yeah, I'll take you to him, all right. <laughs> uh, what was that? Crap, hold on. Ow, hey, that wasn't very nice. Ah, feeling sleepy. I can play musical chairs with my teeth. Oh, hi, Dolphin Carcass Clock. I see you're in my mind. I <laughs> know, man, it's me, man. It's that guy you met. I, I like, uh, channeling myself through the Dolphin Clock, man. So what's going on, man? How, how you doing? Well, I am unconscious, so I'm not doing perfectly, but, uh... Oh, hey, man! Oh, man, I got a joke for you, man. What time is it? Um... What time is it, man? I don't know. What time is it? Time for you to get a watch. Yeah, 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 man. It's a little clock humor there, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man, I got another one. What time is it? Isn't this the same... What time is it, man? I don't know. What time is time it? Time for you to get cooking, man. <laughs> you get it, man? Because, you know, you know, some stoves, they like have, you know, built-in clocks. So you can, like, you know, time how long you've been cooking something. <laughs> so it, it, it's a, it's a multi-level joke. You, you need to think about it. Then, then you get the joke. It's like, ah, oh, man, I get it now. You know, you know, I, I wrote it myself. I, I think it's, it's funnier than the original because it works in, like, you know, so many different ways, man. What time is it? Alright, I think I'm waking up now. Hi, right, man. Well, uh, good talk to you, man. Edward! Wakey, wakey, Edward! Wake up, Edward! Uh, what? Uh, God, what's going on now? Who are you? I am Drake, and this is my laboratory. It is here that I've developed my great machine that will end the spatula spoon war. Max found you sneaking around the forest. We can't have you interrupting my plans to use the machine, now can we? <laughs> yeah, I've had a long day. Is this gonna take a while? Mm, yes. Well, it's time to start the device. I think the happiest day of my childhood was when my stepfather misplaced his belt. I was for one day spared the lashes. Alright, seriously, of... stop talking. The machine is quite unique. I designed it myself. 
it sets off a large radioactive field that will react with all spatulas, turning everyone into a spoon. <laughs> what? Think about it. The spoons will have no reason to fight us if we become spoons ourselves. Peace will be restored and the war will be over forever. Your moral compass is all off, Drake. You can't give up who you are just to be a little bit safer. I'm a spatula. I was born a spatula and I'm fighting this war to protect everything that we spatulas stand for. If you think creating a loom of safety is worth losing what you believe in, you're one terribly disillusioned man. Poor little Edward is sad! Please stop. Oh, poor sad little Edward! I think Please the stop. sad fairy speaks stop some talking. very depressing dust all over your poor little sobbing head. Dude, Max, this guy's a nut. Yeah, but I guess you are too. The machine is almost at full force. Soon every spatula will be a spoon. All right, that's it. Oh, perfect. I can make another check in my list of things in life I failed at. So, did Drake die in the explosion? Actually, the machine mutated him into a force of pure evil. Did he turn into a half spatula, half spoon beast? No, much worse than that. He turned into a small group of dedicated Scientologists. Have you heard of L. Ron Hubbard? You must help nurture your inner Thetan. The alien overlord Xenu is spreading lies and Give us lots of money and we will tell you the secrets of it. Would you like me to stuff a dead raccoon into your mailbox? You're not a religion! You're a pyramid scheme! You can't kill us all. Wow, sounds intense. It was, but you know I learned something that day. Yeah, I may have it rough sometimes. I may lose an arm or an eye, or even lose all hope. We all have our bad times, and I'm no exception. But regardless of how bumpy the road becomes, and regardless of how many limbs I lose or how bleak the future looks, I can always be thankful that, hey, at least I'm not French. <laughs>